just give us your feelings after that uh, that game tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think that we, uh, I think we played a, a, an excellent first period. We got off to a slow start. First couple shifts, um, you know, we, we didn't clear uh, a few pucks out, uh, but uh, stuck to the game plan in that first period, and it was tight. Um, and uh, you know, came out in that third period. And we won a th we won a third period one nothing, and and had a bit of pressure when we we took Regan out at the end. But it was that second period where we kind of we got ourselves in the penalty box. Um, we slip up on our kill. Um, I didn't see the second one. I was talking to somebody on the bench, and uh, apparently it was an okay shot, but we didn't see that. And then we, I think we we banked one in ourselves for their third. So really got away from the game plan in the second period there, and. Um, We've been talking to these guys a lot about it. Um, it's not periods uh, that are going to lose hockey. It's going to come down to shifts now. All the games are going to be tight. Um, it's, it's, you know, that was a playoff game tonight. And um, I mean, they played really well uh, as well. But uh, unfortunately, we just didn't have enough. It, it's uh, it's one of these things after Edinburgh losing during the week and and um, you, you're qualifying. I suppose it's one of these games where in some ways it, it doesn't really matter, or does it? It matters uh, greatly. I mean, this is the weekend that you're using as a tune-up into uh, the playoffs, um, and, and you can see that um, a couple of the matchups were decided tonight. These guys are going to have Cardiff, um, and uh, you know all, this is going to be a. A very interesting weekend of hockey coming up uh, next weekend. So uh, you want to go into these playoffs on a high, um, and you want to be doing everything right. Um, I think for two periods we did, um, and it's not going to be maybe what people deem as exciting hockey. I mean that was pretty tight. I mean the shots were down in the first period, and uh, but you know what, uh, we stuck to it. But we we end up getting a bit strung out, and guys do a little bit try to do a little bit too much, and you get punished for it. Certainly not many pe uh, penalty kills or power plays to, to be working with tonight. No, no, lucky uh, somebody from Be Belfast didn't bring a gun. They might have well got away with shouting somebody tonight. But, um, oh, I mean, we, we've we've dealt with it all season. Um, it's just, the biggest thing I would say, uh, it's, it's easy to criticize refs and blame refs. I think there was some calls not made tonight or whatever. I mean, that, that happens. I think the biggest thing for us uh, and, and probably all the teams is just just having that consistency. If you know what you're going to get night in, night out, the players, the players are always conform to, to the rules. Um, it's just when, when it's up and down and they, they don't know what's going on, um, it's difficult for them. It keeps them keeps them a little bit off their stride. So a little bit more consistency would uh, certainly wouldn't hurt. But it wasn't wasn't the refs' fault that we lost the hockey game tonight. Just 24 hours and we're back in this building uh, for the, the final game of regular, uh, regular season and it's against Bray Head. It's a fierce rivalry anyhow. Sheffield have already been confirmed as the, as the, the, the winners of the, the league. So, so what's it going to be like in here tomorrow night? Well, it would have been interesting if that, that, would have been, uh, if that game would have meant something as far as the title race goes um, because uh, uh, that, would have, that would have really put a, an extra edge to the game. Um, and, you know, in recent years here, it always seems like it comes down to that last game against Brayhead and something always magical happens, you know. Um, but I think tomorrow game, uh, it's, it's definitely important. I mean, if we go and, and we win that hockey game, we end up getting them in the first round. Um, if we lose that hockey game, we rely on Hull to lose as well in Coventry. Um, look, we'll either get Sheffield or, or Brayhead. So uh, we want to be in control of our own faith fate um, and uh, we go win that hockey game tomorrow it basically turns it into a three game series and you're right it is a it is a good rivalry I'd say Brayhead certainly may feel that they have the psychological edge because uh, they, they went in that great run of form throughout the middle and the end of the season there um, and they certainly had our number beat them a couple times at the start of the season hopefully we can recapture that form and uh, if we get them and uh, and put on a good performance. And how important is it tomorrow night with a, a sellout crowd for for the crowd to get behind the team and, and, and make a difference? Yeah, I can cer I can certainly sense. Uh, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of crowds in this building. I can certainly sense their frustration. Um, hockey's a little different than maybe ten years ago, or you know, at the start of the season when things are a little wide open. I mean, these are tight games and uh, zero zero, not a lot of offense. And uh, if you go down a goal. Um, said to these players, said a line about not getting too high uh, when things are going good and, and not really getting down on ourselves when, when things aren't, aren't, aren't great. Um, and, uh, but the crowd is very, very emotional and they, they swing. You can tell that we go down a goal, they, they go uh, 
deadly quiet out there. It gets silent. Uh, we score a goal and uh, the place erupts. So maybe key that we, 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 we put up a goal or two for these guys right off the bat and get them into it because, I mean, make no bones about it. Uh, when, when the place is jumping and the place is, is buzzing, uh, it's one of the most uh, inhospitable places for an opponent to come in and play. Um, but also, um, it can get awful quiet out there and you can you can hear a pin drop at, at times and and maybe that's almost as tough for us to play in, in this front. So it's our job to get the crowd going and if, if they demand goals and uh, hopefully we can provide that for them. 24 hours and we'll know what's happening. Thanks Dodds. Absolutely, thank you.